This video goes over some more examples of finding the equation of a line. So in example A, I'm going to find my slope, which is given to me in the question. I'm going to find my y-intercept, which is also given to me in the question. And then I'm going to write my equation as y equals mx plus b. In my next example, I'm going to do the same thing. First, I'm looking for my slope. It's given to me in the question. Then I'm looking for my y-intercept, which is not, so I need to solve for it by substituting in the point that's given to me in the question, x and y. I'm going to substitute in minus 1 for y and 4 for x. And then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides to solve for b. That leaves me with b equals minus 3. And it's going to allow me to write my equation as y equals minus 1 half x minus 3. Example C is getting a little bit more complicated. I've got two points. What that means is that I have to use my equation. So uh, let's see. I've got m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Substituting in my points that I've labeled, 5 minus 3, and then I'm going to evaluate. Minus 8 minus minus 2 is minus 6. 5 minus 3 is 2. Leaves me with a slope of minus 3. I don't know what my, my y-intercept is in this case, but I can substitute in one of my points. I'm going to choose the point A again because the numbers are smaller this time than B. So minus 2 equals minus 3 times 3 plus B. Then I'm going to add 9 to both sides to get B by itself, which is going to leave me with B equals 7. Finally, I can write my equation as Y equals minus 3X plus B and move on to example D. First thing I'm going to do again is look for my slope. I'm given my slope in the question. And now I need to find my y-intercept. I'm given my x-intercept. And because I know that that is where my line crosses the x-axis, the coordinates of that point are minus 5 and 0. So I'm going to solve for b using that point as my x and as my y. So my y is 0, my x is minus 5. So what that means is I'm going to add 35 to both sides to solve for b, giving me b equals 35. Now I can write my equation because I know those two characteristics. Finally, I'm given my x-intercept of 4, so just like an example d, I know that those coordinates are 4 and 0. And I'm also given my y-intercept of minus 8. So that actually tells me what my b value is. I also know that that point is going to be 0 minus 8 because it's where it crosses the y-axis, so the x value has to be 0. Now that I know those two points, I can use that to find my y-intercept. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Now I can use my formula to solve for m. Minus 8 minus 0 and 0 minus 4 is going to give me a slope of 2. Now that I have both of those characteristics, I can write my equation y equals 2x whoops, minus 8. 
You should be able to write the equation. You should also be able to interpret it in terms of a word problem. In this example here, Tammy works at a clothing store. Her pay is calculated using the formula y equals 0.05x plus 200, where y is her weekly earnings and x is her total sales for the week. Okay. So our slope, which is our m, is 0.05x. Whoops, not the x, just the number. And it's meaning if X is my total sales per week, this is going to be actually Tammy's commission. So what that says is that she gets 5% of her total dollars sold or total sales. The y-intercept in this case is at the end. This is 200. This means that Tammy gets paid $200 even if she doesn't sell anything for the week. Okay, so she gets paid $200 plus 5% of whatever dollars she sold that week. So let's look at one more word problem. The value of a stock could be described by y equals negative 1.5x plus 36, where y is the value in dollars and x is the number of weeks passed since the stock went on the market. So our m is the number in front of our x, which is minus 1.5. And what that says is that the stock is decreasing by $1.50 uh, per week. So X, that's how we get per week. Decreasing comes from the negative number. The Y value or the Y intercept is 36 at the end of the equation. And this must be the starting value of the stock. And we can actually use our equation to make predictions and calculations. So I'm asked to determine the value of the stock after three weeks. X is the number of weeks. So that means X must equal three. I can substitute in 3 for x. And then I can evaluate. So 3 times $1.50 would be minus $4.50. And then I would add those two together. And I would get that my value of the stock, let's see, the value of the stock after three weeks is 31.50, a lower value. So there are some examples of calculating the equation of the line and then interpreting the equation as it relates to real world situations.